I mean, fundamentally, I see DSLs, yeah, they're a technique that can help you manifest that ubiquitous language, be a communication technique. Um, I think the, the basic domain-driven design ideas are more kind of for, more fundamental in the sense that it's more important to, to get, have, you have to have that domain-driven focus and value um, because otherwise the, the DSL is not going to be interesting to you. And you can gain a lot of benefit by just generating a ubiquitous language and working on that, which is quite enough work on its own um, for most people, it seems. Uh, it seems to be beyond most projects these days. And yet it's really the heart of what objects are about. In many ways, domain-driven design is just getting back to the core of what objects are about in the minds of the people in Simula and the small talk communities in the early days um, before we got all distracted with other stuff. Um, I mean, domain, and domain-specific languages can help enable beyond that. And it need not be as complicated as a lot of the stuff that the DSM people talk about. I think they, uh, that community tends to overcomplicate things in many ways. Um, because you can do a lot of things much more simply, and, and the Fluent interface is a good example of a, of a, of a simple way um, to think about things in, in terms of domain-specific languages.